Hi again and thanks for joining me on my channel. Uh, today I want to talk about online banking and how you could use online banking within QuickBooks Online. Now within QBO there are two main methods where you could actually use your online banking and connect with your bank. The first one is to set up an automatic connection. So literally by clicking on the banking tab at the top, then online banking, on the left hand side you've got a set up connections button. By clicking on that you'll see a list of the financial institutions that are supported by QuickBooks Online. Now here's where it gets a bit tricky. Not all the institutions that are actually listed are actually supported either. So literally it is a matter of you clicking on the actual financial institution and by putting in your login credentials you could check obviously if that makes an automatic connection for you. There's also a second method. Now some banks which are not listed you can still upload their bank data and upload your financial statement into your um, into your QBO. And the way to do that is by clicking on the How Do I button. And it's something that is called a Web Connect. So literally, by selecting the Upload My Bank Data, it gives you an instruction here as well of how you could actually download from your bank's website. Now, a lot of the other programs out there actually do online banking through this method. So literally, it's a case of you going to your bank's uh, particular website, and then from there, you export or you download your um, bank statement into a particular file format. And the way you've got to do that is by basically downloading it and saving it as a .qfx, .qbo, or .ofx. However, there's another issue. Banks such as HSBC and Lloyd's KSB, they don't actually allow that. They don't even allow you to export as in .qfx, qbo, or ofx. Um, the type of file, fi file format they use is QIF files or a CSV. And it's a bit of a pain point because what that basically means is that if you do bank with HSBC or Lloyd's TSB, you can't make an automatic connection. But at the same time, you can't even export your bank statement and then upload it into your QBO. So what I've done is that I've thought of a way where we could actually use a third party software and using that third party software is literally a file converter. And by using that, I'm able to actually convert the files that I get from HSBC or from uh, Lloyd's TSB. So literally, it's converting the QIF file into a .ofx file. And by doing that, I'm then able to load into my QuickBooks Online, reconcile them, and obviously make the link to my invoices and obviously my expenses as well. So what I want to do is I want to show you how to do that. So here's how you do it. So literally what I've done is that I've gone to my Lloyd's TSB website and I've exported the file as a .qif file. The way I did that is when I went to my Lloyd's TSB banking uh, website, I've actually gone to the view the statement and at the bottom, it actually gave me the option to download the statement on my computer. By doing so, it also gives me the option in what type of format do I want to download in. Select .qif. That's what you've got to do. Now, this is the same with HSBC, and I know other, a few other banks also do this as well. They give you the option for .qif. So select that and just save that to your desktop. Now, what you want to do then, literally, this is what I've done, is I've gone on Google and I've looked for file converters. And there's two particular file converters that actually stand out. You've got your um, this one here, which is iCreateOFX.co.uk. And as you can see over here, there's a link to download this. There's also another one called MT2OFX. And these are the two file converters that I've seen. Both of them are free. The first one that I create, I think you get a 30-day free trial on that. And then you could actually purchase it. Or you could actually uninstall it and then reinstall it again so it remains free. Bit cheeky, I know, but hey, it works. The other way is MT2OFX. It's a great little piece of software. However, I did find the iCreateOFX um, system a lot more better. So I've actually installed this onto my system. So once you install it, it's this that appears. So once you open it up, as you can see at the top right hand side, I've got 25 days remaining on this free trial. So what you do is, it's so simple, is literally click on this particular button on the left hand side, which is QIF. Click on that. Find the bank statement you've downloaded, and here you go. Here's all the transactions that I've done on that particular um, credit card, and um, it's all there. What I do then is click on Save to OFX, 
I want to call this Lloyd's TSB OFX. Click save. Back in my QuickBooks Online. I'm going to now click on how do I go back to that. Select upload my bank data again. And we've done the first bit, go straight to the second bit, which is upload the file to, to my QuickBooks Online. Start the mini web interview. And from here, you've got to choose your file. So literally click on that. From here, Lloyd's TSB OFX, found that, click next. That's my actual credit card. So you, it'll actually, the same thing works for your bank account as well. Purely for this particular um, example, I'm going to use it as a current liability. And here we go. So my file is uploaded over there. As you can see, is uh, it actually gives me the status that the the file has been uploaded. I can actually review the transactions. There are seven of these transactions. Um, I've actually downloaded my credit card statement. And uh, however, you could do the exactly same thing with your bank statement. Click on review. And here we go. At the bottom, they're all over there. It's all there. I've been able to do it. It works for me. You can replicate this with your HSBC accounts or any other bank account which isn't directly supported by QuickBooks Online. But it's a fantastic way uh, to do it. As you've seen with the converter that I use, the iCreate OFX, it's extremely simple. You can use any converter you like. Remember, guys, as well, that is also definitely a bit of a risk. You know, I personally did do a virus check on this particular software. You know, I'm, I am, you know, uploading my bank statement into it. So it's obviously a risk that I'm taking and, you know, you'll be taking as well. And um, I know uh, QuickBooks Online, they don't support any of these third parties either. So um, it's something that's not supported by them. However, me as an individual, you know, I think it's a fantastic little tool to use. And, you know, I've, I've used it and it's got the job done for me, really. So um, here we go. And all your transactions are listed at the bottom there. So um, you could select the transactions at the bottom so each individual one. You could click on accept and it will come up in your main uh, deposit register at the top. Uh, from there, you could obviously uh, link it to wherever you want to link it to, whatever particular transaction you want to link it to as well, which is great. Hope you found that useful. Please, by all means, leave me feedback um, if you want me to look at anything else. Um, and that's about it. So until the next time, have a great Christmas and a very happy new year. And um, the best of luck with your businesses. Take care.